Some of you, maybe from the Photonics community, know KiteLabs for very, very different uh, applications, uh, and actually not from the free space optics uh, applications. But uh, basically, for the past few years, we have um, moved to a very strong focus on free space optical communications. Um, I'm not going to go into details of what KiteLabs is, but basically, we have a technology for manipulating the shape of light. Um, and today for free space optical communication, we are focusing in offering terminals that are turbulence proof. So basically correcting the effects of uh, atmospheric turbulence. Uh, so what we've uh, actually just discussed with Robert. Um, we have basically two um, range of products for that. Uh, one is uh, called Turba OGS. So it's for space to ground uh, satellite communication. We have turnkey optical ground stations that are uh, already uh, ready for bidirectional bi directional um, uh, links at uh, 10 gigabit per second or more, and which are compatible with the uh, nascent uh, standards, I would say, for uh, SAT to ground uh, links, so CCSDS and uh, uh, SDA, Space Def Development Agency um, standards. Uh, we already have a few references uh, on uh, the sale of these kind of ground stations, so starting to have really commercial grade uh, ground stations. And we are also working on line of sight optical comms, so uh, similar to what Cision is doing, but actually not targeting the same uh, same range and the same kind of customers, actually. We are really targeting very long range uh, um, line of sight communications where turbulence mitigation is absolutely essential um, because we believe that uh, well, there are already other companies such as Earthvision uh, and others uh, which are delivering very good products uh, for uh, shorter ranges, I would say. So in our case, it's not necessarily telecom applications, but more um, defense uh, related applications for point-to-point uh, -point terrestrial, uh, maritime or airborne uh, free space optical communication. So we are able to offer 10 gigabit per second uh, bi-directional links uh, above a range of 10 kilometers. And all these are based on, uh, I would say, a key differentiator, which is our ability to um, actually correct uh, atmospheric turbulence. And so these, uh, these differentiators are basically three building blocks that are all based on KyLab's uh, beam shaping technology called MPLC, uh, uh, multiplane light conversion. So this is our core technology. And uh, we offer three different um, uh, comp components uh, for that. Uh, the one, one is uh, Tilba Atmo, so it's for correcting, uh, mitigating uh, the turbulence uh, in uh, reception. So we correct uh, what uh, the signal, the turbulence signal that we receive at the terminal um, by using the spatial modes, the decomposition of the spatial mode. So it's an alternative to adaptive optics um, with a very high bandwidth and no moving parts, which makes it uh, capable of being uh, maybe em embedded in uh, a harsh environment, such as a drone, an airplane, a ship, uh, or whatever. We also have a technique for mitigating uh, turbulence uh, at the emission called Tilba IBC. So it's a way of implementing uh, spatial diversity at emission, uh, which is suited for OOK transmission. And it has been already proven for very high power. This is, um, for example, useful for line of sight communications. And finally, we have also uh, the way of making extremely high power um, uh, links for optical feedering, so ground to satellite uh, optical high bandwidth optical links thanks to a coherent beam combining. So this is based on Turba CVC. Um, and we're offering a kind of high power amplifier of a telecom, uh, telecom signals uh, are more than 100 watts uh, and with a very high power combination efficiency. 